the German word for bats is Fledermaus. That so, translates into flying mice for the curious. And people will say that because a bat does look kind of like a flying mouse or a flying rodent of some sort. You also might think they're like birds. Not so. When you look at the wing structure of a bat and a bird, uh, very different. If you held your arms out to your side with your elbows bent and your fingers spread, and then imagine that there was a webbed membrane called a, uh, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Those are the wings. Patagium. The, the flesh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The flesh of the wing. If you held your hands out and did jazz hands, but it was all webbed and connected, that is way more what a bat's wing looks like and functions like than a bird's wing. Right. So a bird's wing has rigid bones in it, right? Yes. And the muscles that control the wings are located basically at what would amount to your armpits. Yeah, like a socket. So, like, just do the chicken dance real quick and think about what you're doing. Yes. Right? There's not really any movement in the actual arm. It's all at the shoulder joint. Yeah. Same with birds. With bats, that is not the case. Because they're basically like winged hands, which is the reason their their order is named that, right? Yes. They can basically swim through the air. Yeah. Which allows them to dive bomb and turn and twist and go up and down and go after these insects that can fly really fast, which constitute most of their prey. Oh, yeah. They're much more adept at maneuvering midair than your average bird is. Yes, absolutely. Like a thousand times. There's no science behind that. I would say statistic. even like fifteen hundred times. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if there's if we're going without science, let's just say like a million times more. Yeah, a gazillion. <laughs> <laughs>